Hello everyone. I hope you all are sound and safe. So in today's video, we will be understanding how to register to international competition that is Codeva 2022 fourth edition. So now, without any further delay, let's get started. So we let us go to Codeva website that is Codever dot org. So this is our official Codeva 2022 website. So here you can find information based on what is Codeva, how many schools, teams and countries are participating with us. And also this video will give you a quick overview on what is Codeva all about. Also you can get to know what are the prizes and organizers of this particular competition, themes and who all can do what kind of projects. All these informations are there here. You can go through it once. Now, coming back to registration. So, registrations are of two types. The first one is bulk registration. So, for bulk registration, the collaborators or the partners and the schools who have tagged with us or who have partnered with us will be getting the login credentials for the students directly by us. So, they will be logging in directly. That is one kind of registration. So, the second kind of registration is that the registration which is done directly through the website if you are not a partner with uh, stampedia or if you don't have any collaborations with us no worries we can directly register and participate in the international competition that is codeva 2022 now for that let us first click on register now so this is how the form looks and these are all the information we will be giving now so for that let us go one by one first is team details under team details you have to first give the team name team name can be anything here i can i'm giving here to be rockers right so the combination of lowercase uppercase and the numbers are allowed now is the password so you can create a strong password which consists of special characters uppercase letters lowercase letters and also numbers next is selecting your age group to select your age group you can see here that the group one group two group three or three categories which can be uh, based on the age correct so the age group of mine will be group 2 because i am born in between 2008 to 2011 got it now is that we can go to the country so in country you can see there are various country you have to select your country from where you are from okay now is that i am from india so i'll be selecting india next is team size so for team size you have two options either you can participate in a group of one or you can participate in a group of two so first let us understand what are all the things will be needed for participation in a solo okay so for that next is team association with codever 2022 partners here you can click on this drop down to select your school you can search your school if you have here in case if you have no if your school is not available here you can click on others and you can write your school name here okay so next is select your training partner to select your training partner you can click on any of these partners who is partnered with you in case you don't have you can just click on not applicable as shown here and you can move for the next the next is community partner so community partner also is same if you have any community partner then well and good if you don't have you can just select on not applicable and move forward this is all about team association with codeva 2022 partners next is team leader details so for in team details you can give your full name here so this full name will be given or printed on your certificate so please give your name full name with proper spelling next is parents email id so here you can give email id of your mom dad or even your guardian also the same applies here whose email id you have given there you phone number also you can give it can be your guardian or it can be your mom or dad next is date of birth so the date of birth should be based like what you have selected that group to the same it should be belonging to that particular age group right next is the date of birth that is is done next is grade or class so you can select your class in which you are studying 
gender please select your gender and upload your recently photographed picture so i am uh, selecting my recently photographed picture here students so you can give your picture why you have to give your picture is that you will be getting a photographed certificate of participation so that is why you have to give your photograph okay it should be less than 1 mb so this is how you can register yourself if you are participating in solo in case you are participating in group what will be the extra information you will be giving is that now you can see here there is extra column which is asking the details of second team member right so you can give your team members second the one who is participating with you their name their parents phone number and email address their date of birth gender and also their photograph so that they will also be getting the participation certificate right since i am performing in solo i will select one yes so now we are good to go before clicking on submit let us just cross check the details what we have provided here once the details is confirmed what we will be doing is we will click on register team so here you can see you have a have a scholarship code in case if you have any scholarship code you will be redeeming here in case you have no scholarship code if the scholarship code basically is for underprivileged students so if you are coming under that category then you can write us at codever at the rate the stampedia dot com so we will be getting back it to you okay so next is the registration fees so for registration fees you will be get you will be paying thousand rupees if you are an Indian national if you are outside India or if your nationality is out of India then you can be paying in the terms of dollars that is U S fifteen dollars. okay so here are few terms and conditions which you will be checking it and if you want to see just click on this button and you can see all this terms and conditions of participation correct so now is that i am done with filling and i am done with checking this particular terms and condition check box now is that i have to make the payment so to make payment just click on place order So when you click on place order, it will direct to the payment page. So do in the payment page, you can see that here. So here you have to just give your contact details and you can move forward and make your payment. In case if you are not willing to pay now, you can skip the payment for later and later also you can make the payment. Yes. So once the payment is done, you will be getting a dashboard without this particular message. Since we have skipped our payment, this notification is stating that your team has not completed the payment for Code Over 2022 registration. Please complete it. Right. So you can complete the registration by paying the registration fee anytime. Next is. the free resources you can get to get all the free resources to learn and get hands on picto blocks so here are some learning resources where you can learn coding ai and robotics here is the picto blocks application this is also a free application where using which you can code and participate in this competition next is training sessions so if you are willing to watch activities which we will be doing and we also give you an expert webinar so those upcoming events will be here so you can just click on it and you can view those events as well next is the create project and my project the access is denied for this because the payment is not done yet so once the payment is done these both will be accessible for you right so this is how you can register yourself and you can participate in codeover 2022 competition so that's it for today's video i hope you got a clear idea on how to register and participate in one of the biggest international coding competition codeover 2022 fourth edition you can also share this video with your friends who is willing to participate and get hands on activities on emerging technologies like ai robotics machine learning iot etc so i'll be meeting you all in the next video also the links for how to record your video to submit your project will be given in the description you can check it out and you can fill in the details
So that's it for today's video. I wish you all the best and I'll be meeting you soon. Bye. Thank you.